Hello, Jester Good here. Today I got 10 packs of Lego Batman movie minifigures. Got these from eBay, you know, Feebay. I paid a lot for these, but I want to get them early, so, you know, because I'm going to be actually pretty busy this week with other videos. Um, so let's open each of these up. So here's the deal with these. Um, I did order specific ones, so I know who's in these, but uh, there's no repeats for sure. So, yeah, but uh, a lot of my favorites I think I ordered early, uh, where I was able to get. And our first one is... Clan of the Cave Batman. It's funny how as I'm saying I got a lot of my favorites, I pull my least favorite. And the reason I got this guy a little bit early, I'm trying to get a lot of the Batman suits early, so I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll have to get this guy. Um, but either way, I do like the printing on the sides. I didn't know about that before or so much. That's actually really cool, and it is dual molded legs. Lame that there's no back printing, um, so that kind of looks bad. Uh, but his cowl isn't so bad. You know, honestly, in the flesh, this guy isn't as bad as I thought it would be. I like how it has a little markings or stitching on it. Um, I think that's pretty cool. And underneath, he does have a little face print with kind of an expression, but that is not double-sided. Packet number two. Let's see what's inside. And by the way, if you live in the United States, these are apparently showing up at Target's. So I would suggest you look in those. And... Be the calculator. Yep, the calculator. So here is the calculator. Really like how this guy came out. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorites. I like how he has the hello printing on there because as a child I used to always like mess with calculators and put the hello, which was four or sorry, zero seven seven three four. And then you can see his face print underneath is kind of uh, chipper. <laughs> I like it. Um, I also like his uh, little calculator printing, um, which is a one by one tile. And nice side arm printing and dual molded legs. Very, very cool. And also even top helmet printing. Just printing all around this guy, which I really like. Like, even when you remove the little armor, there's printing underneath, even onto the back, which, you know, Clan of the Cave Batman didn't even have. I love that. That is just so detailed. Here is the third pack. And let's see what's inside. Da -da. Okay. And it is, oh, Orca. Here is Orca, and this is actually a really good part usage of this, uh, you know, the shark guy suit from series 15. Uh, even down to the little flippers, which were the same, um, also used on the penguin suit guy. But yeah, I really like how this one came out. Not one of my favorites, but not one of my least favorites. Definitely the upper middle tier. Um, I like the printing and everything, and if you take the little suit off, Unfortunately, there's no printing on the back, but my favorite part is this front face printing. That is freaky, and I'm going to have so much fun messing around with that with different suits. Next packet. Let's see what's inside. And, oh, it's a uh, Glam Metal Batman. So here is Glam Metal Batman, and you guys know this was in my bottom five. But uh, in person, I, I like it a lot better than how I saw it, um, you know, on the actual, like, computer or whatever. Uh, the little printing on the cuffs right here is actually a really nice print. I like how that came out. Um, it's just little things like that that make me really like some of these figures that I didn't expect to like at first. Um, also, these are not dual molded, um, these legs on the side. They're actually just printing, as you can see on the back. Um, they don't have, like, the multicolors. And uh, I, I don't know, I like the little details like the cuffs and just the shine with the belt and everything. And it is a good guitar print as well. I always like getting new guitar prints. And if you remove his mask, which also has a nice print on there, you can see his face underneath, um, which is uh, a little bit of a, a, a screaming or, or singing expression. And you got to note with these Batman suits, it seems in the CMF series, they don't have double-sided faces. And also these capes are the older style capes, which I don't like how they use the older style capes. But other than that, and also there's no back printing on this guy, um, but other than that, it is a pretty well-made minifigure, and I do like it a lot better in person. All right, next pack is Oh yes, Pink Power Batgirl. I really wanted that one. Here is Pink Power Batgirl. 
This is one I really was looking forward to, and I am not disappointed. This is a darn good looking minifigure. She looks adorable. Things I like about her is her cape, because she doesn't use the style cape as, like, say, the Batman suits in this series. She uses this nice kind of silky cape, and it's just a really cool material. It has a nice shine to it. Um, I think it's the same one she used in the sets, but instead in pink. And it's actually different inside. Um, this is like a less shiny version inside than the backside. So I assume that's the inside version. And also the pink battering, which is just a nice addition. Um, her hair piece, which is her hair piece from some of the sets. Um, but it's just good to get it in a cheap way. I like the little silver band on there. And she also has a double-sided face, which is something that not a lot of these other minifigures in this series have. And you can see she has just kind of like a smiling expression right there. So overall, very cool looking minifigure. Even a little skirt piece right there, that's gonna be useful. Those are dual molded legs. And of course, uh, yeah, so that's really cool. Love this minifigure, and now on to the next. Next pack. Is, oh, I can't even tell. Is that Commissioner Gordon, maybe? Oh no, it's a uh, Vacation Batman. Sorry, Pink Power Batgirl, but Vacation Batman is officially my favorite out of this whole opening. We got this nice kind of molded uh, little float right here, which is a totally new mold. I love how this came out. It's not like rubber, which I expected it to be rubber or something. It's actually just a hard plastic. It has a nice printing on the front with the little uh, like Nightwing cowl. And it just attaches through the legs right there. So very solid, sturdy mold that's going to be super useful because we don't get much pool stuff. And of course, underneath you got Vacation Batman who has this really cool kind of printed torso. Yeah, it is flesh, but still, like, I could use that for, like, a frat boy kind of a torso because it has that nice, uh, you know, jacket look. And there's just these little Batman symbols all around. I think that is so hilarious. And then he has these uh, dual-molded legs, which, yeah, would have been more useful if they didn't put that Batman logo right there, but uh, that's no big deal. And then he has this awesome kind of cowl mold. And this is a new cowl, which has these goggles molded on. I like it when they take an old piece and put a new piece on it and make it one whole new piece. That is always interesting to me and intriguing. And of course, underneath you got Bruce Wayne's face, which as somebody who doesn't have a leg of Bruce Wayne, this is very useful for me. So overall, I'm in love with Vacation Batman. And here's our next packet. Let's see what's inside. Oh, it is Commissioner Gordon. So here is Commissioner Gordon, and Lego Commissioner Gordon is very few and far between, so it's so cool to get him in this minifigure series. He's officially my first Commissioner Gordon in Lego form. Um, and I, I love that uh, hair piece. And this hair piece, I think, was Obi-Wan's hair piece from uh, the Clone Wars, but I might be wrong about that. But either way, if you just see the little details on the side, there's a little bit of white. That is just such a cool detail. I love those little details that you don't expect. Um, that appear on these things and we do got these dual molded arms which also have printing on there but i did kind of expect that but that looks so good i mean they even have the little line right there um but either way just a very well made minifigure and it's an easy way to get commissioner gordon and it also has a printed two by two tile which i love getting these in minifigure series and i believe his outfit is exclusive um because this is different from the one in the scuttler set which again this is a nice cheaper alternative to get commissioner gordon without getting that 70 or 90 dollar whatever that price is set and here is the third to last pack, which is, oh, it's Robin. So here is Dick Grayson, and you know, they had to include like the main characters like Robin in here, and it's a cool way to include Robin uh, without making it feel repetitive with like his outfit. So we got this normal, you know, his casual wear, and it's actually pretty useful because you could use a torso for like a Lego Ken bone, <laughs> and uh, the, the, the jeans right there are very useful for like Lego City people. Um, so a lot of Lego City collectors are going to get that just for the jeans alone. And then the shark repellent, that's a nice reference to, of course, the 60s Batman show, from my understanding. If you take off his uh, little hair hat or hair glasses combo, you can see his face underneath looks a lot like his face from the set, so nothing too unique there. But speaking of his glasses, I think this is the only way to get the glasses without the green inside them, so that's pretty cool. And second to last pack is the racer so here is the racer and you guys know this is one of my favorites i think i said it in like the thoughts video and stuff and the head mold i thought originally like way back was going to be just like a tube piece you know like the lego tube piece but it's actually not it's a totally new dual molded piece which is quite interesting how that works out um and it just slides onto the 
minifigure like neck perfectly unlike say a tube piece so I'm glad they made a new mold for that and his face print is kind of freaky he has these nice kind of molding on it and this is actually a one by one little circular uh, tile so he does have a stud on the top so you can mess around with that I can't wait to see what people use this piece as because on the back it has no printing and of course we got uh, some back torso printing and even some bat or side arm printing and leg printing which I wasn't expecting so that's really cool so yeah one of my favorites just because of how wacky he looks in the new head mold and he also has this little thing that says two arrays which is very very stupidly funny so I like just those little touches and the last pack is let's see it is oh Catman okay so here is Catman, and my favorite part of him is actually the boots, because the boots are plain. They don't have any printing on them or anything, which makes them super useful, and they're dual molded with uh, the yellowish-orange and uh, the, the, the kind of brown boot. Um, so maybe somebody will use that for like a Wolverine costume or something. And then the actual torso is neat as well, and the utility belt in brown. But then my second favorite part is, of course, the head area, because you got this nice kind of print underneath, which has a little beard and everything. It's a nice tan. And it has a newer style cowl, which this is the only instance of this appearing in the series, um, you know, this minifigure series, uh, which was used for like the new 52 Batman, I believe, and stuff, you know, after 2015 and for Lego. So I like getting that in brown because that's pretty neat. But that's really it. I mean, he's not one of the best, but he's not one of the worst. He's basically middle tier for me. Um, older style cape as well. But that is it for this opening. Now let's take a look at all the minifigures I got in this opening. So here's all the minifigures I got all together. Well, the first five, and then we got... Uh, Vacation Batman, Pink Power Batgirl, uh, Catman, Robin, and where's Commissioner Gordon right there. So yeah, a little bit sloppy, but it's very hard to line these up with this guy right here because he doesn't stand on the stands because of his little slippers or flippers, sorry. So yeah, my favorite of this is definitely Vacation Batman, even though he's a little bit of a balancing act. I like Pink Power Batgirl as well, the eraser and the calculator. And, you know, there's some nice surprises here and there. Uh, so I really like how this opening came out. Of course, it was planned for me to get each unique one. I want to show you one last thing, and that's the pamphlet. So here is the minifigure checklist, which, you know, fitting all 20 is kind of interesting because they just put five to each line. But what gets really interesting is on the back. So you got this, add, whatever. Shows you how to make it. What's this? You see it right here? It says May, May, Mayo 2017. They give you a little tease of, I think that's a Series 17 minifigure. And it looks like kind of like a, a Buccaneer Pirate or something. You can see it has one of those shoulder pads, maybe even like a little scarf around it or something. Like maybe like a neckerchief or neckerchief. Is that what it's called? I don't even know. Um, but like a tie or something because you can see it kind of enveloped around him. And it has like a tricorn hat. I don't know, but tell me what you guys think that minifigure is in the comments. That is really it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys later.